Time once again for the tale of the tape, brought to you by Zion. Zion, extreme supplements available at GNC stores nationwide. A lot of experience on the side of Elvis Sinisek. You said it, Joe, that same height and really the same reach. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. We already talked about the rules in the locker room. You guys have any other questions? I want you guys to do a hard fight and a clean fight, okay? And there we have it. Set to go. And as I said, Eddie Bravo with us. The crowd on their feet as both fighters ready, approach the octagon. The loudest ready, cheers go. goes certainly for Forrest Griffin. Touch glove, sign of respect. Forrest Griffin, who lists one of his hobbies as going to bullfights on acid. <laughs> I think that was a line from Caddyshack, wasn't it? I might have dated myself. Whoa, nice left hook and right hand by Elvis. Good jab by Forrest Griffin. Nice leg kick, both, both sides by Elvis. Nice leg kick by Forrest. This has all the makings of another Stefan Bonner Forrest Griffin fight. Elvis is a very intelligent guy, and he's been away from the octagon for a couple of years, and I'm sure he's been improving. And I've actually been very, whoa, good right hand by Elvis. I've been very much looking forward to seeing him fight again to see what, what his improvement is. And Joe, we talked about how his time away from the octagon was really to make that decision to fully commit. When he was in the octagon earlier, he was balancing a serious job with fighting. Now it's fighting 100%. Elvis looks very good on his feet so far. Good counter punching. Wow, he's uh, he's getting the better of these exchanges. Well, if you looked on paper at the record of Elvis Sinisek, you might be mistaken. But as you mentioned, Joe, this guy has fought some warriors. Wow, Elvis is doing a really good job of countering Forrest, staying just outside of his punches, and countering him with punches and leg kick. Nice leg kick by Forrest. Nice leg kick by Elvis. This is Forrest kind of fight. He loves a war. Oh, he rocked Elvis there with that left hook. Elvis is rocked, and he comes back with a, with a hook of his own. Good knee inside by Elvis. Nice uppercuts by Forrest. Sinisek able to connect a couple times. Forrest Griffin breathing heavy. These guys are going at it. This is, like I said, this is Forrest's kind of fight. He loves a war of attrition. He is a tough guy, and he loves to test himself. Good right hand by Elvis. Over halfway down in round number one. Sinisek, the aggressor. Good counter punches by Elvis. Oh, good left hook got inside by Forrest. Elvis counters. Another connection by Griffin. Another left hook. Griffin getting in with that left. Nice inside kick. Forrest Griffin said he wanted to concentrate on boxing while he's getting his wish. It was that left hook again. We saw it earlier in the first round. Forrest is connecting with that left hook. Very difficult task for Forrest Griffin. He passes with flying colors. Wow. The king of rock and rumble comes up just a little bit short against Forrest Griffin. Let's take a look at the replay. Elvis, look, his head was standing straight up. And Forrest is connecting over and over again with that left and with that uppercut. 
Let's take a look at the stoppage of the fight. See, Elvis' head is standing straight up. Uppercut, bang, left hook. That was the one that did it. Ma you know, Mario Yamasaki stopped it. It could be argued that maybe it could have gone on, but clearly Elvis was hurt. Let's take a second look at it. Forrest is flurrying. He senses Elvis is hurt, and then boom, puts him away with the left. He goes to follow up, but Mario Yamasaki stops it. Yamazaki was looking for any sign that Sinisek could handle any more of a barrage. Let's send it inside the octagon once again to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by TKO for Well, if there was any doubt in anyone's mind that Forrest Griffin was a fan favorite before this fight, that's over now. You heard him. Let's send it inside to Joe. All right, Forrest, the last time we saw you in the octagon, you won, some, won by submission. Is this more your style? Yeah, brother. Hey, you know, I never said I never said I was that good or that pretty, but baby, I'm making it exciting. You know, what more can you ask for? Well, I don't think anybody could ask for anything more than that. <laughs> That was an incredibly exciting fight. Let's take a look at the end of the fight. Talk us through this. Uh, that's me swinging wildly. Me swinging wildly some more. Total shoulder punches. Uh, no pivot. No technique. A lot of luck. You had caught him earlier with the left hook. Did you sense he was open for the left hook? Uh, you know, I did. But what, what changed that is when he caught me with about, I don't know, right before this happened, he caught me with the left hook. And I was rocked. I was like, oh, I got to do something here. So I just started charging forward, throwing bolos. All right, now, Forrest, this is a great win over a UFC mixed martial arts veteran. You're obviously, you're moving up the ladder. What, what do you think happens next? How, how much further do you want to push this? How much further before you get a title shot? What do I want, Dan? I want to fight the best, you know? Preferably the best stand-up guys. Who's that, Dan? Who do I want to fight? I think that's Chuck Liddell. Hey, you know what, though? Seriously. If I fought Chuck, I'm not saying it wouldn't end with my face in the canvas, but it'd be a good fight until then. Well, you know what? We look forward to seeing it either way. We love watching you compete. Forrest Griffin, ladies and gentlemen.